Mac loop time. Um, Side of rain a bit. Right, that is Kadir Idris Dunn, if I've pronounced that properly. 2,929 feet up. Good afternoon, all. Uh, so, wicked, we've made it. We are in the deepest and darkest parts of Wales. Uh, it is Mac loop time. Um, I got a couple hours to go before I just do a brief intro. It's Monday, it's bank holiday Monday, so get the traveling out of the way, get to the campsite, we get set up. Got a little plan for tonight, but late this afternoon if I get time. Um, but other than that, uh, I'll put the link to the campsite in the bottom of this video as long as I'm happy with it. You know, the, the website's fantastic. Uh, the lady who's um, sorted out my booking, my, my rebooking, essentially, because of why we didn't go the first time. She's been amazing, so I cannot see why this place won't be spot on. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the loop. Um, the weather's looking good, but this is Wales. It's, you know, it's in the Hillier district. It's, anything can change so I've got backup plans perhaps I'll talk you through those tonight because it's not as if there's not much to see in Wales is there it's an abundance of places to go you're gonna have to excuse me during this video I've got the worst chest you could ever have asked for um, I was really really bad Saturday and Sunday I'd probably touch and go again whether I was gonna go but uh, you know got to get on with it there is nothing stopping this trip um so yeah like i said a couple hours to go um and i'll give you an update in a bit cheers we have arrived and we're doing all right um it's likely spitting it was going to be shite today no matter what the weather the weather was crap today um so get over it the rest of the week's looking good um i'm gonna set my little pitch up I haven't got much, I've only got the van and a Coleman shelter just to keep all my stuff in so I don't have to carry it around really. Um, I'll let you know what it's like in a bit. Right, so we're all set up, it's taken me quite a while. I felt incredibly sick earlier, but I think I was just dehydrated. Um, so we're all good, I've had tea and I have a shower and I'm gonna get some rest, man. I'm, I'm not shattered, but I just wanna be up early. This place is beautiful. Um, I had a little walk around the campsite earlier. Um, yeah, it's, it's lovely. Washing up facilities are cool, shower facilities are cool, toilet facilities are cool. I'll put a link down in the video. Receptionist was lovely. Um, yeah, all set up, good to go. Gonna get my stuff sorted for tomorrow. Um, quick shower and then I'm done. Might do a bit of a video in a minute, but other than that, I'll see you in the morning. So about the point of view, I cannot be bothered to get the Osmo out. Heading up the loop now. I've been sat in the van all bloody morning. It's been flat out, 20 feet visibility. Heard the jets above us at one point this morning, which was heartbreaking, to say the least. But like I've always said to you in previous videos, stick to your guns. I almost drove off half an hour ago there's a place down the road I want to visit but I didn't and it's clearing it's beautiful sun's out there's still some cloud over the hills whether or not it will be good enough but you've got to be here to win it haven't you um let's get up there there's a fair few people going up so fingers bloody crossed man fingers crossed
Right, half a mile done. 900 feet of elevation already. It's probably not a good idea. Anyway, welcome to day two. Update on day one, no pictures. Makalu was empty, um, absolutely gutted. Sat there all day, the weather cleared, it was beautiful up there. But it wasn't to be, the thunderstorms from across the middle of the country, so I don't know, it wasn't to be. Driven up there this morning, spent three or four hours in the car park waiting for it to clear. So the Met Office was saying, it's not it's still this low cloud, there's another band of rain coming in this afternoon. They ain't gonna come through in that. So I'm going for a walk up a mountain. As you can tell, my, <laughs> my poor chest isn't happy about it, but it is stunning. I'll turn you around in a minute. You're on a GoPro on top of the camera, so you have to excuse me. Look at that, man. That's beautiful. I could have gone that way and up and around up there. We're not, we're going this way and up. Um, so like I said, bear with and uh, let's go get wet again. All right, just started to rain a bit. Um, we should have a little bit of appreciation. Where is it? This wall up here. Who built that? That's unreal. Um, I've done a couple of photos down there of a waterfall on the way up. Um, nothing special, just a quick composition. About F11, half a second. Um, ISO 50. Um, the two, I think. So if you see two photos in a minute, you know they worked out. Here they are. Middle path goes up to the tree, and then beyond that, you've just got a mountain on the right hand side, and the left hand side's a little bit weighted. I'm zoomed in, so if you cut that rock out, I'm probably zoomed into about there. It's 35 mil, F11, one over 30, ISO 100. Um, it's just a nice shot. You got, you know, you got the path leading up to the tree, and then beyond that, it's just rain and rain and cloud. So, quite like it. Adds to the mood. I'll stick it up now. So I've just done a shot up here, let me show you. It's stunning, right? It's beautiful up here. It's quite a rainstorm, but it's past ish Look how quick that cloud's coming in. Look at that, man. It's beautiful. So basically I've come off this rock, led down this path, and into there I've got some of the mist in, but not a great deal. I've concentrated on this in the centre, which leads you off to the right, left, sorry. Um, 1 over 30 of ISO 100, F9. I'll stick them up now. That is Kadir Idris Dunn, if I've pronounced that properly. 2,929 feet up. That was a rock hard climb. That was strenuous. Heading back down now, two miles to go. There is no photographic opportunities up here whatsoever. It is complete whiteout. I've just had a rest in the hut, had a drink, something to eat. It's four o'clock. You know, I've got no fear of light going because sunset's late, but <coughs> I don't want to be stuck up here all night. I'm soaked through to the bone. That fine misty rain coming through all the time. I've hit the summit. Um, so I've started on this wall. 
Um, I was showing you on the GoPro, so it's going to be a little bit different now because the GoPro said it's got no battery left, even though it says 50%. Don't buy a GoPro. Sound advice from me there. Get an Osmo. Shot starts here, runs through, the wall runs all the way up. It disappears for a little bit and then it comes back out by this tree. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful tree. And it's, the wall is just it's such a leading line with a wall. It's, it's cool, lads. I really love it. So I've done this two, two ways. First shot I've set up, 130th of a second, F13 ISO 80. Good enough histogram. Middle of the wall starts running in the shot. And remember what I said about the crosses on the back? So I've got a bit of interest here, and then your eye lead up to the tree, which is up there. I've made a focal point in the tree. I focused on that, which is almost a stop before infinity, because then it's just cloud. Um, it would be nice if the cloud was a little bit higher, just showing off the mountains behind it, but it is what it is. But what I've also done, um, let me just go into my shots. Done another shot. Uh, I've twizzled it right back to F4. Still kept the focus point as the tree. All the rocks in the foreground are blurred. And then it, the blur runs in to the sharpness of the rocks. And then you've got the same shot predominantly. Um, I really like it. I'd just like to say, my camera by now should be packed. But it's not, I've done 20 shots. <laughs> 20 photos, man, 20 photos. Um, what a walk today. Uh, so I peaked at, I'm not gonna pronounce this right, I'm sorry if I've got any Welsh subscribers, Kadria Idris, Kadria Idris, 2,928 feet. Uh, that is the hardest single walk I have done for a long time. <coughs> I wouldn't even say it's a proper path. Um, very enjoyable it's a real shame about the cloud and the mist real shame but nonetheless that's it's got me out of the boredom of waiting in the loop nothing was ever going to happen today still got the cloud rolling through now i expect the raf and united states air force are all at home having tea and cakes um but i've had a hell of a walk i think it's going to be about six miles by the time i get back with three thousand feet of climbing and do you know what coming back down is i think it's harder on your legs sometimes um i'm enjoying doing this shot because it's, it's just got me to stop. Um, admittedly, just taking some of my own advice and not taking the big lens. That's a couple of kilos I didn't need to carry. But there you go, never mind. And start heading back down. Um, and I've got a lake over there. Hold on. I'm sure if you can see it. There's another lake over there. I'm hoping... I'm hoping there'll be... A composition further down um, there's sort of one here but I'm not really keen on it yet so we'll go for that day three tomorrow is not looking good again I have picked the wrong week um, just depends if the fog burns off in the morning there's not a lot of rain it just depends if the fog burns off gonna stay late Friday <coughs> um, and hopefully Friday's looking lovely. So hopefully we'll we'll get some real good we'll, hopefully if they come low level we'll get some good shots. Uh it's lucky I've just done the, that shot that I just showed you because it's gone now. The cloud the clouds covered it. Um it's beautiful up here. It's absolutely beautiful. If you ever get the opportunity, do it. Just just do it. Right, I'm just back at a van. Safe and sound. Seven and a half miles. Two thousand 929 feet of elevation. That was knackering. I didn't realize it was gonna be that long. I underestimated it. Ordnance survey app, perfect. Honestly, I would have been lost without it. I'm gonna put the rest of the pictures up now. I took a few more on the way back down.
morning and welcome to day three. Um, I'm up on a place called Bluebell. Uh, so you basically go through the Mac Loop, swing a right, and a few miles down the road you park up. Bastard of a climb. Absolute bastard of a climb. Nightmare. Uh, probably a little bit dangerous, but I'm meeting people up here this morning. Um, Anthony Fogarty, go and check his aviation page out. He is a wicked wicked aviation photographer absolutely amazing he's been instrumental in getting me up here messages places to go places to stay so massive thanks to him um but go and check his page out on instagram his some of his shots are unbelievable to the point i've got one of them up on my wall um but this is day three this is bluebell we've got a little bit of rain coming through broken clouds blue skies um fingers bloody crossed Fingers crossed. Hey everyone, success, persistence pays off. Uh, soon to be retired, Royal Air Force, Hercules, it's just come through low level. I've got it on GoPro, I've got some smashing images. Um, C30J model, Comet 121 call sign. Uh, beautiful pass. I'll stick the video and I'll stick the images up right now. Happy as Larry. And these images are probably the last few images you'll get of them coming through the loop because. It's May, we're halfway through May, and they are retired in June. I don't know the exact date, but yeah, I'm pleased, real pleased about that. I'm really pleased. Um, so this is the final day, it's Friday, um, most RAF, USAF, they're all packed up and tea and cakes for lunch. So I am sat up here for a few hours, fingers crossed, sun shining, cloud is clearing. I've missed my family, of course I have, um, but I've had a good week, I'm so glad I did that walk. <coughs> I still can't see the summit because there's still a bit of cloud on top of it. Um, Excellent Hercules yesterday through Bluebell and Hill 15, which again is not for the faint hearted. That is the single most hardest climb I have ever done. That That's kind of hands and feet crawling. And then the icing on the cake will be this morning if anything comes through. So let's see, fingers crossed. Um, I just wanted to do some tips really for people that might want to watch this and figure out how to get there, what to do, etc. Um, so first of all, the car park is just there, all right? It's not the biggest. Uh, so tip number one, be respectful about your parking. You know, bunch up. There, there's the, Sometimes that car park is packed. Um, be early, tip number two. Um, it's currently quarter to eight, I think, and I'm, I'm parked, I'm up here already. Um, so the walk is nice and easy for some of it. Um, so from the car park, you literally 
jump over a gate there. It's a proper gate. Um, and you come up all this trail up here. Um, there's a gentleman walking up there now. And then you'll come to this part. Now this part is where it gets a little bit hard because it gets a little bit steep, all right? But it's absolutely fine. It's probably not for the faint hearted um, because it is, it is steep and it's not very well footed. So, but it's gentle up to the first ledge. Um, if you want to get higher for more of a vantage point, then it's steeper and it's harder, um, but it's not a long climb. So that's another tip. Faint hearted, go to the first ledge. If you're hard nut, get your butt up here. Um, another tip, do not leave your litter. I've got a bin in my van. It doesn't cost anything to bring a bag up with you and chuck your rubbish in there. This isn't our land. It's, I believe it's a farmer's land. He allows it. So don't be the minority that ruins it for the majority. Take your crap home. It costs you nothing to pick your litter up. Um, I think that's about it really. There are many vantage points. You, you can go over on the other, on the other hill um, you can drive up that way, there's limited spaces up there, or I can see a stile there, you can actually walk up. So it's up to you what you do. I had a lot of worries when I got here about what to do, where to park, what to do. Um, I was speaking, I spoke to an amazing aviation photographer, Anthony Fogarty, he's helped me out tons and tons and tons. Um, but hopefully this video just provide a teeny tiny insight. The views are incredible. Um, and that's about it. So yeah, top tips, park, walk, take your litter home, be respectful.